From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we cut to the recon, a done deal passed on the Senate side. Next stop, the House. I'll explain to you the surprising details of how quickly they're going to get this done on the House side. New revelations revealed overnight. Then we cut to the two-pass process, bipartisan and the recon, and why Pelosi held her position overnight. Her new comments you're going to hear for the first time on Afternoons LA delivered late last night. They're incredible great news. Then we cut to this stimulus, which in just days from now will start. This raises your benefits up if you're on SSI and SSDI as promised during the campaign trail. Now it's coming to fruition. And then we cut to the big money across the board as another viewer overnight reveals to me he got over $8,000 for rent. Carlos, so I'm excited for him as well. We have all the incredible details as one viewer got $50,000 for rent, utilities, food, and internet. It's your day to get this big money and the excitement starts right now as Afternoon's Ally gets underway. Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? Almost to the weekend. Almost to the weekend. And stay with me all weekend long because, boy, it's going to be a big, dramatic weekend because the heat is on. And I don't mean the weather. I mean Nancy. And I don't mean her hairstyle either. I mean the heat of getting things to a vote. I have a lot of breaking news that's going to be happening this weekend because guess what? Nancy is talking and she's holding her ground. But first, how's the heat where you are? Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. It's been Perfect here, but it's getting a little bit muggy. I don't like the mugginess. Keeping my fingers crossed that we stay good. Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather on this beautiful afternoon's Allied broadcast. Thank you for joining me. In this recording, we're going to go over that monthly four stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we cut to the recon. Done deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. As the recon procedural has passed the U.S. Senate, next stop of the House. And I'll go over what Nancy said about this as well. I'll go over all these checks that you're going to be getting in this for summer's package. Then we cut it to the voting process, new details about the voting process, and the new resurgence of an old friend, seats for stimulus. Then we cut to this stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime. And then we cut to the big money, as one viewer got over $8,000 last night for rent. He sent me his wonderful screen grab. He's from California. And another viewer got over $50,000. Mark, incredible, great job, Mark. Money for rent, utilities, food, and internet, and SNAP. I'm excited to give you all the details and show you how you get this big money as well. And get financial freedom, because this is Adelaide of the America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning and taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto Live on Air. Stay on this video. You don't have to lift a finger, sort of like your congressional leaders. It'll automatically take you there. And then at 5 o'clock is a brand new evening's Adelaide with a lot of breaking news happening late today. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record, and next stop, 1 million. Jo subscribe because this channel will be expanding its programming in the next few days. Get ready for the excitement. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Let's cut right to that stimulus check provisions. House versus Senate, Senate versus House, both monthly, and both paying a different number of checks and big issues about the pandemic, of course. House versus Senate, July to December for the Senate. House pandemic plus one a year. Then we go to the payments, $1,000 per month for the House. After the first month, the Senate unknown, but word on the street is the Senate would pay you this. Deliciousness, $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. Well, there's new concerns that uh, the vaccines may not be uh, as effective over long periods of time because of Delta. And now we see Southwest Airlines giving warnings about its corporate earnings going to the fall, saying that travelers are canceling reservations because of Delta. There is new calls to fully vaccinate the armed services 
and there's new calls for vaccine cards. So things are changing dramatically. That means that the House bill would likely pay the one year plus, plus pandemic, which would be under the House bill more than 12 checks, which would amount to more than $13,000 for the House. Compare that to this in the Senate. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House or Senate, House or Senate, and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Who gets this for a check? Democrats represent that if you got a third, you get a fourth. Single individuals, 75,000 less Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150,000 less Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check is not taxable. The fourth stimulus check is not income. The fourth stimulus check would be the same amount for adult dependents and everyone else. And the fourth stimulus check is not a waivable, a waivable check. So if you're at the Dodgers game and you see the wave coming through the stadium and you're in the stadium, you're about to go, hey, wave, and you go down. And then you look to the side and say, oh, there's the check. I have not seen the check since the beach. Hey, check, how are you? How come you didn't do a wave the check? The check doesn't respond back. Root check? No, it's not a root check. It's a Giants fan. <laughs> And there we go. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over the voting process. Done deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people under this forced stimulus recon. The biggest recon we've ever seen in the history of this government, the history of this channel. $3.5 trillion, more than enough room to get stimulus checks out to the American people. I'll be going over all the other checks in there as well. Then we cut to Nancy, his, her new comments overnight. She's holding her position. And I'll go over new dates revealed just minutes ago. It's coming up later in the final 15 minutes of this video. Stay to the very end. So much breaking news at noon to, at afternoons today. But first, also heating up is fist stimulus, which is days away from raising your benefits up for SSI and SSDI. That's in September. I have all the details coming up. But first, let's get some money. Congratulations to that viewer who sent me that wonderful message overnight on Facebook. Got $8,000 for rent for his family. So get pen and paper ready because I'm going to go over the big money for you right now. When I started covering this a few weeks ago, I said I can get you rent, four to six months of rent, approximately $5,000. I undervalued it just a little bit. Uh, it's actually much bigger. It's bigger than Nancy's hairstyle, you know, all the way to the, yeah, this is not 1980s, Nancy. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at the big sums of money that people are getting. Are you ready for the rent? It's not $5,000. It's $27,000. Wow. Congratulations, Elizabeth, who got $27,000 for rent. Mark, $25,000. Nancy, $24,000. Richard, $22,000. And Nancy, $20,000. Incredible. When we talk about utilities, you got a utility bill, don't you? You got water, you got gas, you got heating oil, you got something like that. Well, guess what? The federal government's picking up those bills, and now viewers are getting that money. They're not getting $300. They're getting, as viewers of this channel, as Purple Hawks, as members with that purple emoji next to their name, they're getting this. Bam. Wow. $7,000 for utilities, $6,500 for Mark and Angela, $5,000. When we turn to Snap, it's no longer five to six thousand dollars. It's not. Snap is money for food. I, are you ready for this number? It's astronomical. Here you go. Bam. Louie, member of this channel, eighteen thousand dollars. John, ten to twelve thousand dollars. Nancy, five thousand dollars. Congratulations to all the other viewers who have been getting massive sums of money from this channel day in, day out. Send private messages to me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with your success story, whether it's $100 or $10,000. I want to hear it. Pamela sent me a message, $12,000 of rent. Carla told me she got utilities and SNAP. Tiffany got rent, SNAP, and utilities. Her rent was $13,000. Wow, deliciousness. Randy got rent and utilities. He got $6,000 for rent and $2,000 for utilities, which is a lot. Uh, Jennifer got rent and utilities and SNAP. Her rent was $5,000. Great job. And Cecilia got $1,200 for heap. That is wonderful. So how about the combo people? How about the people who got three items? Are you ready for this? Can I hear a drum roll? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. Bam. Wow. Nancy, $3,200. She got for rent, utilities, food, and internet. Nisi got $23,000 for rent, utilities, and internet. And Mark got $32,000 for two items. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for two items. Only for two items. And that caused me to go on camera for seven days and say, Mark, you got $32,000 for two items? 
What about the third? <laughs> what about the third? Don't forget the third item. It's sort of like when Nancy forgets the third hair color. <laughs> yeah, it's like, don't forget the third item, Mark. So he went and got that snap. I told him, go get snap. Then, you know, I thought maybe he was going to get four or $5,000 for snap. Maybe 8000 At the time, I said 8000 Get yourself to 40000 Mark. I think he could do it. Well, he got it. He got some snap. But he got a little bit more than that. Just a little bit more than that. Uh, more than Nance, more than Mitch McConnell's popularity contest could get in votes. How much did he get? He got nineteen thousand dollars for Snap, bringing his grand total to fifty thousand dollars. And there you go, Purple Hawk, Purple member, and a Purple Power community viewer. And this is our light. This is what we do here. We've been doing this since day one. In spring of last year, I launched this channel to give people money. People's EIDL loans and EIDL grants were not being approved. And so on camera, I helped them get their applications approved off camera. I was in private messaging on social media with them hours and hours at, during the night to get their applications approved that they had already filed. Got $25 million of them approved. Incredible. And saving their businesses, their homes, and their employees' homes. Then in fall of 2020, people were looking for that second stimulus check. It was not yet coming. It was $600. So I stepped forward. I got viewers $250,000 of rent. Paid their rent, their utilities, and more. Tyrone and his family afford out of Boston got $15,000 for rent. Paid all their rent to the next year. But now we're doing it again. The only difference is you. We're doing potentially over a quarter million dollars of money per week. We've never seen anything like this. So get a pen and paper ready because if you're new to this channel, I'm going to show you how to get this money. If you are a returning viewer and you haven't got to this money, today's your day to get the money. And if you got one sum of money, I'm going to show you how to get the other sums of money. All right, you ready? You're going to reach out to different places with different eligibility. That's the first thing. Second, each place has their own pot of money. Third, if one says no, reach out to the next. I'm going to show you six places to reach out to. Next, every state of the country is paying money. There is no place that's not paying money. Additionally, finally, listen to the keywords I say in this video. It really helps people get approved. Push and get the money yourself first because the big success stories have always come in from people who've done it themselves. All right, you ready? You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, your state housing authority. The key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know like stimulus and uh, Chuck Schumer's July 4th deadline. <sighs> Sort of don't know those things. Uh, I don't think Chuck knows his own deadlines either. And there you go. Can we top that? Yes, as we go into now some snap. But if you got money for rent, post your success stories in the live track right now. If it's rent, utilities, post your success stories right now. Congratulations also to Tim and Linda who got money for rent. Snap. What is Snap? Snap is money for food. And Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom. Gail got it as well. Louie got $18,000. Mark got $19,000. And John got ten dollars to $12,000. Eligibility for SNAP is easier than a stimulus check. So why would you not get it? It's wonderful. You get it from the Department of Agriculture. You reach out to them. And you can also call 2 and one if you don't know how to reach the Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A lot. A family of four out of Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. Incredible great news. Louis, $18,000 annualized. Mark, $19,000 annualized. If you got Snap, post your success stories in the live chat, and we're just getting started. The next pot of the money is coming back from the States with the computers that simply don't work. <laughs> sort of like your senators. <laughs> And let's go over those incredible checks that are coming back from those states. It's the refund check from your states due to unemployment benefits overpaid with a computer that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, our computers work. Can't theirs work? So when is Atlanta? Direct deposit. And how can you track it? Contact your state. It's a high state. Where's that check due to overpayment of unemployment benefits? And can you track it with a computer that does a little bit more work than your congressional senators? <laughs> And finally, the last refund check is the one coming back from the federal government. It is the payment on the IRS ref on the IRS return 
for that 2020 taxes. Now you're getting back some of that money. It's a waivable check. Sorry, Mitch. I know those words make the hair on your head step st uh, stand up, whatever little bit of hair there's left. But, you know, it just makes the hair stand up. And it's a waivable check. Uh, there's a new check every week. It's sort of like too many Kardashian episodes. <laughs> it's so the average waivable check is about $1,200, but Mark got $1,400. There's a new wave of direct deposit and mail checks every week. Mark got a cut, got a Michael got a more about that a second. But first, if you're on the live chat and you've gotten money for rent, utilities, food, or internet, post your success stories right now because the spirit of this channel is me helping you and you helping others. And every time you post your success story, you help other people. You help people three different ways. Number one, you help people by inspiring them to go get that sum of money. The channel is all about positivity and helping people. If that's why you are here, thank you. Because that's the spirit of the Purple Power, helping people in positivity. Because there's money available for you. So help people by posting your success story. And then suddenly people realize, wait a second, there's rent. I have a rent bill. Let me get my rent bill paid. I have utilities. I didn't know the federal government paid my utilities. Oh my God, people getting the utilities bill paid. Let me get that as well. And then people don't know about SNAP. I have a lot of viewers who never heard, even heard the term before they found this channel. Larry Maui got a fortune. I think it was almost $500 a month. Never heard of SNAP before this channel. Second, and it updates people to get multiple sums of money. So Louis, um, excuse me, Nisi and Art Sullivan got three items. They inspired Nancy to get three items. Then Mark had got to two items. You heard me tell Mark to go get the other items, inspired him. And finally, it updates us about the sums of money. All right, let's go back to those unemployment benefits. How much is it? Let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits. You pay $5,000 taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations. You're getting back $4,000. We are direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Can you track it? Yeah, go to irs.gov and do a trade. Transcripts serve 70% of the time of work. It'll reveal the taxes you've paid and the tax return you've filed. It also will reveal um, stuff you never knew, <laughs> stuff you never wanted to know. Like, for example, um, uh, ha ha what is the name of that hair color that Nancy uses? <laughs> Muddled something? <laughs> And then finally, it'll reveal the refund check you back from IRS. Can we top that? Yes, as we go into the second part of your four stimulus check update of 2021, starting right now. Done. Deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you, the American people, because the recon procedural has passed the U.S. Senate. I have been predicting this for several weeks. I said it was a no-brainer. It was going to pass, and it has now passed. Setting up step one of getting the recon proceed, getting the recon checks out to the American people. The recon is all checks for the American people. Checks for seniors, checks for workers, checks for you. Every one of all different walks of life. Moreover, the first, second, and third stimulus packages were this big. The fourth stimulus package is this big. And additionally, the first, second, and third that were this big, 90% of them were consumed by grants and loans to corporate America, making it this amount of money for you. This four stimulus package is this big, and it's all for you. It is what the, pre it's what the media is calling the New Deal. We haven't seen since the 1920s. Fortunes of checks to the American people. It's incredible great news. How do they do this? Well, originally, the recon had roads and bridges in there, and they had to take the roads and bridges out and make the recon passable. The recon is now passable. And the conservative publication op-ed recently published confirms my reporting. The higher the price tag was on the recon before, the harder it was to pass. There you go. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending from the recon and put it into the bipartisan roads and bridges, it made the recon smaller. In other words, the recon is now passable, as is the bipartisan. They're both now passed from the U.S. Senate. So the next step is, of course, the House. And the House is where a lot of people often have quotes from. And that is where Elon Omar, House, and Richie Torres, House, she's Minnesota, he's New York, sit. And they are about to get that House uh, recon procedural in their laps to vote on. And they wanted a big number. Ironically, however, the Progressive Caucus was meeting with the White House daily before the passage on the Senate side, featuring both House and Senate caucus members about the price tag. So this is a no-brainer. 
they got what they wanted. $3.5 trillion passed. We need a recon that goes as far as we want it. We got it, Elon Omar, says uh, says Elon Omar. Representative T T Richie Torres says we have to have a larger recon. You got it, e uh, Richie, $3.5 trillion. Because the Progressive Caucus includes House and Senate members, more House than Senators, uh, the number of $3.5 trillion is effectively agreed upon by the House members. So that's also no brainer when it lands in the House within just days. How do they do this? By protecting the recon because everything that's in the recon is progressive. Again, more House members like Jalapal, she's in the House. She was told that the president said the progressive priorities in the recon are their priorities. Wow. So what is a recon? What is a bipartisan? What's a recon procedural? And what's a recon substantive? Let's go over all the details so you're educated across the board. Nowhere in broadcast media are they doing the scope of this reporting, the scope of the in-depth reporting you can see on this channel. And most of the time, they're using the wrong terms. So if you do watch the TV or you do listen to the radio and you ask me to explain them, and I always get the comment, since day one of this channel, can you explain to me why I heard this on the TV? No, um, but can you send me um, ownership to the TV station? I'll, I'll take care and control their, their business and I'll fix everything. Because no, I don't own the TV station, but I can tell you, they're not doing a good job of reporting. So the recon is also called reconciliation. It's also called the budget bill. $3.5 trillion is the price tag. People quote an article about it. R and AOC or Bernie. Bipartisan is the roads and bridges. This has a price tag of $1.5 trillion. Um, and that $1.5 trillion is... Uh, 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 you'll see it quoted in an article like a Kristen Sinema, Mitt Romney, or Ron Portman. All right, so let's go over the difference between recon procedural and recon substantive. So recon procedural just passed the Senate, and next stop is the House. Recon procedural just basically asks two questions. Number one, do you agree upon a price tag of $3.5 trillion for the entire recon package to be written at a later date? Yes, I do. Okay, number two, do you agree that the recon price tag of $3.5 trillion will be dispersed to committees of the U.S. government at this percentages? 5% uh, to this committee, 4% to this committee, 20% to that committee. Yes, done. That's all that recon procedural does. So when it lands in the House of Representatives in a few days from now, they're going to re-vote on what was just passed in the Senate. And guess what? This is a no-brainer. This is going to pass because the progressives from the House, Democrats, got that price tag of $3.5 trillion. They were part of the discussion to get the $3.5 trillion. So it's not like they were left out of the discussion. So then that is that then goes the president to sign, and then they come back, and then they do recon substantive. So what's recon substantive? Recon substantive then takes those amounts of money given to those committees from the $3.5 trillion and then just determines how to spend it. So recon substantive basically then only decides how do the committees spend the money that they were dedicated under the recon procedural. So if a committee was dedicated $10, how are you going to spend it? Who are you going to spend it on? When are you going to spend it? And that's what recon substantive decides. It's pretty easy, and now it's actually easier in my mind to understand with the graphics. That's why I always prefer graphics, and that's the technology of this channel. So who writes the recon substantive? The recon substantive is written by House subcommittee members who presumably have been writing it all along. The only difference is now they have the price tags. The House subcommittees are dedicated subject matters under the U.S. Constitution. For example, House Ways and Means writes about stimulus checks, stimulus checks and unemployment benefits. When they're done, they combine their pages, let's say it's 10 pages for each of the 10 subcommittees, send them up to Chuck. He puts a big S on it. We put a big S on it for it. Slow. <laughs> <laughs> he puts a big S on it for Schumer. No, it's not your thing, Chuck. It's for Senate. Yeah, he puts a big S on for Senate. And that is your recon substantive bill. That recon substantive bill then only needs the Democrats to pass it. I had someone ask me yesterday, so now that, we've, now that we're through the step one of the recon procedural, do we have to worry about the Republicans later on? No. So because the reason you do a recon is it's called unlocking the recon process, meaning that the Republicans cannot block you uh, from getting it to law. Number one. Number two, they can't use the filibuster. Number three, you don't need any Republican votes. All you need is the Democratic votes. And there you go.
And so how do we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot from John Paul, who recently wrote Chuck a letter saying, Chuck called the vote on the recon. That letter was written by 10 House Democrats who are part of the 100 plus House Democrats who really wrote, recently wrote the president a letter saying we're going to be putting monthly force stimulus checks in the force stimulus package. Wow, Purple Power, you got to push and have them keep their promises to give you those multiple stimulus checks as they write the recon substantive in these next few days. Can we top that? Yes. As 10 members, excuse me, seven members of that House Ways and Means subcommittee, the one we just went over? Yes, the one that writes stimulus checks. They recently wrote the president letter saying we're going to give multiple, multiple monthly stimulus checks to the American people under the force stimulus package when we write it. Well, Purple Power, you got to keep these people their promise. Can we top that? Yes. As the president has done it, he got the global minimum corporate tax rate into the law books. This is great news for force stimulus because now it's easier to write and pass force stimulus recon. One, you don't have to have it in there. Makes it easier to write. Number two, easier to call the vote. Then easier to vote on it and easier to pass the force stimulus recon because it's a confusing thing. Global minimum corporate tax rate minimum. Oh, so exhausting. It's not in there. <laughs> Can we top that? Yes. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video, an old familiar friend is back. Seats for Stimulus. We're going to go over Seats for Stimulus. We're going to go over new dates and times you're going to hear for the first time on this big afternoon's LA broadcast. You're going to hear new comments from Nancy Pelosi just late today, in just the last few hours, that explains what she's doing next. And then we go over everything you need to know about the writing of the bill and the provisions that are in there. Then we cut to Fist Stimulus and more. A lot of breaking news you're hearing for the final 15 minutes of this video. Stay with me. But first, if you need help with rent, utilities, food, and internet, and you've tried to get it, and you can't find it on your own accord, don't worry, I got your back. Reach out to the volunteers. They truly embody the Pro Power spirit. How do you find them? Open the description of this video. You'll see an emoji of a house. It says community page. Click the link, it'll send you over the community page. They'll help you get that many for rent, utilities, food, internet, and more. They have been really swamped because of clearly the changing events across the board. So give them patience. And remember, it's rent, utilities, food, internet, and more. They can't cut your hair. They can't mow your lawn. And they can't take you to San Francisco hairstyles. So that's another challenge. <laughs> but here's a little bit about them. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with the big final 15 minutes and a lot of breaking news coming up in this big afternoon to LA broadcast. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement can continue right now on Afternoons LA. That word was excitement. It came out sounding like another word. <laughs> and boy, there's a lot of breaking news across the board as Nancy Pelosi speaks out about your recon. I have her comments as well. Then we cut to the seats for stimulus back in the mix. I'll go over the latest details on that. And then we go over the dates and times you need to know. Finally, we cut to Fistimus. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you part of this loving, growing family. Thank you for all the record subscriber growth in the last few days. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video to 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member so you get access to all this incredible money. 
And with that, let's cut to excitement of this stimulus just around the corner. As the president during his campaign for president said that he was going to raise your benefits up for SSI and SSDI. Then he said he was going to do it again during the transition papers. Well, now your House members and Senate members are taking care of it for you. This is where they're putting it in fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus starts in September. Starts drafting September, go into a vote about November. It'll start by raising your benefits up, then they'll apply the benchmark, and the benchmark will be for next year's benefits. Let's go over how it works. Step one is they will uh, apply a new benefits lift. Then they'll remove the asset limit, add the inflationary benchmark, remove the marriage penalty, and remove the income exclusion. All right, let's go over all the details. First, who gets this? You do. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, SSA, or multiple beneficiaries, your benefits will step up. Step two, they'll apply a new benchmark. That new benchmark will be inflation. And where is inflation going? It's going to be transitory, says Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, reaching a spike around December. The new jobless claims came out this morning. Yes, every Thursday morning. And what do those new jobless claims numbers show? It showed the lowest drop in new jobless claims, best unemployment numbers since pandemic levels started. So we're at, I think it was like 350. So it was, a, it was a great number. That further signals that inflationary concerns may be there. I've been saying that the inflationary transitory number will be 5% for a temporary spike. So let's do the analysis. First, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply the new benchmark. And let's say it's 5%. Then your benefits step up another 5% lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Then they're going to move the income cap, income cap dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. They're going to remove the marriage penalty that it says you can get married and do the pair dance at your wedding and no longer fear a loss of benefits like Rob and Sandy. And finally, the asset cap is going to go away that prevents you from having more than $3,000 an hand. Now you'll be able to have some muddled. Did you just say muddled? Uh, there's nothing muddled about this. <laughs> you'll be able to have some <laughs> beautiful uh, Crayola blue crowns in your hand and some symbol checks. And there you go. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of this video starting right now. Oh, I forgot something. Yeah, I just forgot a little thing. Um, if you've not become a member, what are you doing? You got to become a member right now. Membership link is under the video where it says join here. It's critical to understand how the federal government functions with these stimulus packages. In spring of last year, this channel was launched with other subject matters being covered, but I noticed people were looking for the arrival of a second stimulus check in May. And of course, it never came. And then in June, they were looking for it and it didn't come. And I didn't understand why they had made themselves financially dependent upon the arrival of a check. Can't do that. You can't make yourself financially dependent upon one event in life because that causes problems eventually. So I started covering the subject and I said, you know what? I can get you. There won't be a $600 stimulus check landing in your bank account until maybe late December, but I can get you other sums of money. And that's how Tyrone listened. He did not focus on the arrival date of the $600 stimulus check in December. He went and got $16,000, giving himself financial freedom for rent for his family and four out of Boston, paying all their rent between December and May, March. That's financial freedom from that bill. Then in January this year, I launched Purple Hawks. Why did I launch Purple Hawks? Because I wanted to show people that there's a lot of money in these stimulus packages. And while there was going to be a $1,400 stimulus check at the time coming in February, I said, I don't want you to be dependent upon that $1,400 stimulus check because once you get it and you spend it, there isn't another one coming a few days later. But I want you to instead be focused on the big sums of money under third stimulus. Ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars you can get, and that's what viewers started to focus on. As a purple hawk, 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 they pounce and got that money before anyone else. Because in these stimulus packages, this is where the big payouts are. And I said, I want you to get these big sums of money, not stay around and focus on the arrival date of one stimulus check. And viewers did that. So Here's what you also need to know, is that the federal government sees you as a person with seven bills, potentially. And they may pay the first five bills, but not the other two. So why are you sitting around waiting for one stimulus check? Let me show you. The federal government understands you got rent, utilities, mortgage, homeowners at utilities, and medicine. And then they also understand you have other things. Let's say a car in the driveway needs fixing, and then some shoes for the kids. They're not going to provide you money for the shoes for the kids. And they're not going to provide you money for the car. But they'll pick up the first five bills. And so if you let them pick up those first five bills by applying for the, stim for the items in these stimulus packages, you've cre unlocked incredible financial freedom for those first five items. 
And in lo- unlocking that financial freedom, the federal government has picked up money for those first five items. You don't have to pay for them anymore. For a couple months, for six months, for eight months, you don't have to pay for them anymore. And with that money cleared up, you now have extra cash on hand to pay for the ro- car in the driveway and the shoes for the kids. That's financial freedom. Getting the big sums of money under these seamless packages. So consider becoming a member, because daily I deliver from you, from the YouTube community page, a breakdown of all the big money that is available in second and third stimulus for you to get, and everything that's later for you to get in fourth stimulus as well. And with that, let's go into the final 15 minutes of this video starting right now. Deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. The fourth stimulus recon is all checks. And unlike prior stimulus packages, which were 80% for corporations, this is hundred, nearly 100% of checks for the American people. While we don't have the final recon, and while the final recon is still under advisory mode as to what they want to put in here, here are some of the items that are also included. Checks for free school meals for all, checks for tax breaks, checks for cheaper for medication, checks for immigration reform, checks for farming, checks for elections, checks for free internet, checks for workers and ch- workers and checks for seniors, checks for workers checks for independent contractors, checks for collective bargaining, checks for seniors, like lowering the eligibility age, checks for vision, checks for hearing, and checks for dental. Everything that's in the $3.5 trillion recon spending bill is spending (laughs) on you. And there you go. All right, so now that the recon procedural has passed the U.S. Senate, what is next? The recon procedural will now go to the House of Representatives. And the House of Representatives will vote on it in the next few days. That vote will pass because, the, as, I, as you heard earlier in this video, the House members were part of the discussion about the price tag originally. So it's not like they're left out. So that will likely pass immediately. Then they start writing the recon substantive. And that recon substance is very critical. Now, everyone has, let me go over first the voting elements. And then let me go over the substantive elements, the voting elements. First, the president assures the American people again that he is not doing just roads and bridges. He is doing roads and bridges and bipartisan together, name and recon together. Namely, they both have to be on his desk in the White House for him to sign them together. He says as to the bipartisan, if that's the only one that comes to me, I'm not signing it. They have to come to me in tandem. He also says, I propose another, uh, in addition to the bipartisan, I propose the recon. It's a significant other piece of legislation and it's equally important. That's the president. Then, um, the we also have the statement from Nancy and Jalapal. As I said, there won't be a bipartisan unless we have the recon. Plain and simple, we have to have the recon passed by the United States Senate. We now know, based upon Nancy's comments last night, she was referring to the whole recon. Thank goodness. Jalapal also confirms the same thing, that the Progressive Caucus will not approve the bipartisan unless they have the recon. Okay, so Nancy Pelosi spoke last night, and she basically said the following. One, The whole recon has to pass, not just the recon procedural. Good. Number two, she says, I'm not freelancing, meaning I'm not just talking out of my own personal agenda. She says, this is what the Democrats in the House have told me. So this is what she said. She says, I'm not freelancing. It's the consensus of the Democrat caucus. The votes in the House and Senate depend on having us have both of the bills. Um, Then uh, what's important to understand is that Pelosi is aware that there is a few, just a few uh, Democrats who are seen as moderates in the House who are saying, just do the bipartisan, just do the bipartisan. She says, no, there's just a few of you, but the vast majority of uh, the Democrats in the House say, no, we're not just doing the bipartisan. And then we have some information about dates. And that information from dates comes as the progressives are saying, set this up right now. Our focus now is delivering all the way to the president's desk, which is why we continue to stay focused on ensuring the passage of the recon so that we can vote for the small bipartisan sent over by the Senate as well, says Jalapal in a statement released late Wednesday. All right, so let's go over then the dates, and then we'll go over the substance. So the dates, here you go. So the recon procedural will be voted in the House on August 23rd. Steny Hoyer, minutes after the recon procedural passed the Senate on uh, Tuesday, immediately ordered the House back into session on August 23rd, and the recon P procedural will be voted by the House H 
on August 23rd. It will then pass, and then we're done with recon procedural. There's nothing left to be done. It will pass. Again, all they're doing is agreeing upon the price tag and the committees. It's a simple, easy breezy vote. There's nothing the Republicans can hold up on that. Then Chuck Schumer confirms that by 9-15, September 15th, the recon substantive will go to a vote. There is, um, you can't see it under the overlay, but the star, the asterisk, is referring to the word proposal. There's a proposal overnight that the recon substantive may start on the House side, not on the Senate side. Really interesting. So that, I think, is actually great news. I like it starting on the, on the House side. Remember, it's the House subcommittees that's writing the, sub, the recon substantive. So this even makes more sense. And then there is a new quote overnight that says they are trying to get a firm done date of September 30th to finish the recon. Quote, some senior Democrats and White House officials have suggested they want both bills by September 30th signed into law because they got a slew of other transportation programs and current government funding set to expire by then. So there you go. Incredible great news. Now, um, again, the recon substantive will decide how committees spend money and when and where they spend the money. Which brings us back to an old familiar friend. Last night I was on social media and I, I tried to see how people would react to the situation and you reacted in flying colors. Seats for stimulus, S-E-A-T, the number four, stimulus, all the hashtag in front of us, is back baby. Seats for stimulus is back because it is time and place to now go after the issue. One of the overwhelming discussions, and I'm not going to go into too much in the quotes overnight, was that the people who are trying to get the bipartisan passed right away, who are Democrats, say they're worried about losing their seats in the fall election. It's all about seats. It's all about, do I lose my seat? Do I show like I, I, I did nothing? They're all worried about reelecting. So guess what? If they're worried, go after what they're worried about. Seats for stimulus. It's our time and place to really make very clear to these people, you better give us stimulus checks or we're going to take your seats. Let's go over all the details. The House seats, here's what you're going to hear. Here's what I'm revealing, again, new for Afternoon to LA. There are six House seats that are up for re-election in the, no, in, on Election Day. 2021 this fall. Six House seats, and those six House seats could impact the balance of power in the House. Then in next year, there's 34 Senate seats that could impact, the that are up for uh, up for re-election. 34 of 100, I mean, that's an enormous. It's nearly one third, it's more than 30% of the U.S. Senate. Seats for stimulus, you need to get out on social media and push and say, hey, you want to lose the House? You want to lose those six seats? Then you better not better not forget us. You promised us multiple stimulus checks. You wrote it. You said it. And ultimately, yeah, I understand you're concerned about the climate. I understand you're concerned about some other things, but we're, you're concerned. We're the people voting for you. The clouds are not voting for you. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> yeah, the, the clouds and the sunrise is not voting for you. I'm voting for you. So give me a darn check. <laughs> So there we go. I think that's about as blunt as we can say. You can probably make an emoji, out, make a, a meme out of that. And with that, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. Oh, wait. I forgot to mention. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. It's live on air. Last night we had some problems with the, the crypto broadcast. We had some technical flaws. So sorry that we lost connectivity. So some outages in the area. So Overnight's Crypto is back live for a nice 15-hour run starting right now. Stay on this video and I'll automatically take you there. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to lift a finger, sort of like a Chuck Schumer. And then coming up at five is a brand new evening to LA. I want to see you on both of those shows. So hit that subscribe button right now. I also want to see you on social media. Hashtag Seats for Stimulus. Hashtag Purple Power. All together. And tag LA Light. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers are YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video. Two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member. Stay informed. Stay positive. Stay focused. Stay with Ally for more.